Also today, Multnomah County Commissioners voted to pass the Homeless Services Intergovernmental Agreement with Multnomah County. Now, this is a plan that's crucial for the future of Portland and Multnomah County's Joint Office of Homeless Services. Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar joins us in studio today with more on, on what went on in this meeting, which grew a little bit heated, right? It sure did, Anna. It's been over a year's worth of work between the city and the county. Now, city commissioners approved that IGA just last week, and today the county voted 4-1 to one in favor of the IGA. However, tensions rose before coming to a vote. Marina, can we have a roll call vote? Commissioner Myron? No. Commissioner Beeson? Yes. On Thursday, Multnomah County Commissioners voted to move forward with an $87 million plan to take on homelessness in the coming years, including working to shelter or house nearly 2,700 people by the end of 2025. And our ultimate goals of getting people safely off the streets into shelter and onto housing and doing that in coordination um, with um, housing, with behavioral health, with public safety, all a part of the solutions that we're creating. However, before voting, Commissioner Julie Brim Edwards raised concerns regarding transparency with the public going forward. The way we build credibility, trust, ownership, um, not only from the city, the members of the city council, but the followers from the county commission and the community that what is happening is um, actually moving us forward, that those conversations need to occur in a public setting and not just conversations but really like providing the data and the decision and the decision making happening in public versus it just being revealed of there were behind closed doors or private discussions and tensions rose between Myron and fellow commissioners Myron voiced there was a rush to sign the IGA while asking for additional amendments to be made, while Commissioner Lori Stegman stated they needed to move forward. It's going to ping pong. <laughs> so uh, I, I have a great fear of that, that happening, just like it's happening right now. I mean, well, it's happening yeah. right now because that the we didn't adopt language in an amendment that went to the city that they said, OK, we'll adopt the county's language. Myron continued to express concern about amendments that would clarify certain responsibilities between the city and county in regards addressing homelessness, which led to more tension between her and commissioners. I mean, I think that this will be a sham of a process if we're saying we don't want it to ping pong. That is just excuses. The idea that this would be delaying what has already been a um, ridiculous Commissioner Myron that is your opinion please do not speak I'm on behalf I'm here to of, speak of, my of opinion me to, to, of to imply that whatever my vote is today is a sham this disagreement led to Myron voting no but Vega Peterson stressed a successful agreement means negotiating and compromising with the city. This is not the IGA that we sent over, that this board approved, that we sent over to the city. Um, but that is the art of the, the politics of what we do in trying to get to negotiation. City Council will receive a progress report by October 15th and decide if the agreement should continue. In studio, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon. Paulina, thank you.